right, take a look at what's happening in Riverview tonight. Just hours before city officials begin accepting applications from recreational marijuana businesses, some are so committed they're camping out in front of City Hall. Bar McDonald is there tonight. We typically don't see businesses having to sleep out in order to submit applications. Mara, my goodness, what gives? So Kimberly, yes, we have a small tent city going on here for really two reasons. Number one, the limited amount of real estate they have in Riverview and the way this ordinance is written. Let me show you. Kinship Cannabis Company is so committed to getting its license in first. It's had staff rotating out of this tent for the last nine days. More so than anything, we definitely want to be in our community. What the city is requiring is pre-approval from the state and identifying the business location. And that business location is the tricky part. Because of Riverview's size, there aren't that many options that will meet the required zoning, which says this, no two cannabis businesses can be within 300 feet of each other. If you have two competing entities, will it matter who got their application in first? We'll see. Kinship already has its building purchased in the correct commercial zoning and plans ready to go for the remodel if approved. It already operates this store in Albion. We're so happy to be at the forefront of our ship, if that's what you want to call it, sailing into this new avenue in our own backyard, in our own community. Back here live, what the ordinance here in Riverview does not have that some other cities like Detroit has is a scoring process, some of which are subjective items on this scoring process. So, for example, there's nothing in this ordinance that says, well, you have to have, you know, this many years in the business or anything like that. It just simply doesn't exist here. So, theoretically, if you're the first to get your application in, it really could make a difference. We're live in Riverview tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, local four. And makes sense why they're so committed then. All right, Mara, we appreciate it.